Hey y'all, uh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video in this Django tutorial series. And in this video, we are going to step things up by creating, I mean, by adding to the database from our HTML templates. So it's not gonna be, we are, it's not like we're going to the, you know, admin panel and adding it, but now we are going to be adding it from our own HTML forms. So let's check how far we've gone to the website and over here and okay it's over here right now now we'll create like a form to add movies so to do that let's go over here and then in the main app we have to create what's called forms.py so let's create a new file and say forms.py so the basic, basically what, it's do, what it will do is create forms for us and it will render it to HTML and then users can supply the information for the fields that it's asking information on and then it will save it to the database. So let's first import from Django, import forms and then let's import models as well because we are going to be using model forms so this is our form so this is going to be movie add form and it starts with a class and the name of the form we'll say movie form and it generates from models forms dot model form my bad forms dot model form and then it's gonna extend from a meta class and we have to specify the model that we're getting it from and the name of the model is movie so we'll see movie and we have to specify the fields that we're asking for the user and it's going to be a tuple so we'll open the models to the side and then let's see what we're going to ask we are going to ask for the name of the movie we are going to ask for the director why do i always type directory cast description We'll need a release date. We'll need, we don't need the average rating because we are going to calculate it based on what users put it. And we'll say image. So that should be it for the forms. And then let's copy this over here. And then let's go to our views. And then we have to import it from dot forms, import everything. Okay. So now let's create a function to, you know, add movies to the database it's going to be add movies and it will take a request so to add a movie since we're using form we have to check uh, there are basically two ways of getting data from forms it is either i mean post or get and we are going to be using post method in here so we'll say request dot method double equals post now we are going to declare the form that we're going to be using form is movie form and we are getting whatever the content that the user posts or not and we have to check if the form is valid or not check if the form is valid and to do that you can simply type if form dot is valid and then we'll say data equals to form dot save for right now we'll do commit equals to false and then since we don't need any data that needs to be pre-filled we'll just save it over here I'll, I'll explain you what i'm doing why i'm doing this in upcoming videos because we are going to talk about user permissions and it plays a very vital role in that so after the data has been saved to the database we want them to return redirect now we are going to use the redirect function so for that we have to import it over here so what redirect does is it it calls to another function so it'll return redirect and it's going to redirect to the name of the app and the namespace that the url is taking us that is home so it's going to be sorry means slash home so we need to give else over here we'll say form just to open an empty form and 
and then we'll just return render we need to render the html form itself and then we'll do main slash add movies.html and we need to pass the form dictionary okay so we need to create add movies.html let's do that over here add movies.html and then once again we're going to extend it from base.html and then block content and block so to give it a little bit of design we'll just say container you can just copy these codes card dot okay card content we'll just say heading three dot text center add movie and then we'll give it a form we don't need to give anything in the accent right now because it's handled by our views but we need to specify the method and we are going to be using post and in any post method we need to specify a csrf token so it's like a default thing if you don't do it it's not going to work and it's a security feature for cross-site forgery now we can simply say form dot as p because we have already declared form over here so let's go to add movies and then we need uh input it's going to be a submit button value is going to be add movies okay so uh let's get this into our url add movies into our url we'll just say path add movies and then we'll say views and name is gonna be this okay so let's reload it and then go to add movies and then it say extend okay it should be extends and then let's reload it one more time and it says add movie so we'll just add a movie from here not from the admin panel Okay, we'll say knives out, big bag, test, release date, 2020, 319, let's see, knives out. Let's get a better picture quality for this. We'll copy this and we'll paste it and add movies and it says not null constraint failed oh, okay i get it so it's for the average rating and float field we can say no uh, default we just we just can add a default equals zero so after we've made changes to our database we need to make migrations And then we need to migrate and then let's run server and then let's reload it and add it and there you go there's the knives out and it says we baked the rating is 0.0, .0 right now because the default is set out to be zero and you can add as much movies as you like from our html form there you go so that was it for this video i this might be a little bit confusing for you guys but once you get the hang of it it, it will make sense and we'll discuss more about it in the later videos as well till then just keep watching this video thank you